baking with beef. Today, we are going to be making cheesecake. For the cheesecake, it is a three-step process. You'll start with the crust, then the filling, and then the topping. We're gonna to go ahead and start with the crust. You will need one and a quarter cup crushed graham cracker, a quarter cup butter, and a quarter cup sugar. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and throw the graham crackers in the bowl. Put your butter. Make sure it's nice and softened. And then as well, we're gonna go ahead and add the quarter cup sugar. Get yourself a wood spoon. Go ahead and mix that all up. Now you're gonna want it to go ahead and thicken it up like a crusty like material. So if your butter is not melted, this will not work for you. All right, now you can see that it's gone ahead and thickened up like a crust-like material, almost like a cookie dough. So, in your cheesecake tin, we're gonna go ahead and add that in. Just go ahead and put it all in there. Does that have to be pretty yet? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and spread this throughout. Now this is when you're gonna to to take your hands, or you can take a fork, go ahead and go all the way around it. Usually your fist will actually work very well. All right, and it should look somewhat like that. Now that your crust is finished, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven between five and 10 minutes to let it harden just a little bit at 350 degrees. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually make the cheesecake filling. For this, you're gonna need two eight ounce, slightly sat out cream cheese let it sit out of the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes. A quarter cup sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and then one teaspoon lemon peel. Just grind it up on like a cheese grater, peel it, get it nice and all crumbed up. Now to make the filling, you're gonna go ahead and also need a beater. So let's go ahead and make it. Let's add the cream cheese. Add your sugar, vanilla, your lemon. Okay, take that out of your hand. And of course, the two eggs. Now we're gonna go ahead and eat those all together until it gets nice and creamy.
out of the oven and pour it on top. Now that we have taken that out of the oven and let it cool down a little bit, let's go ahead and add the topping in. You're gonna need yourself a spatula. Watch out, the side will still be hot. Now you don't have to actually bake the graham cracker in the oven before. My mom does it, but I do. It is totally up to you on what you prefer. Um, I think it makes the crust a little bit harder uh, at the end, but it's totally up to you. Don't worry about making this pretty, just making sure it's evening because we still have to add a topping on this one. So this is not the part that people will actually see. Alright, now that you've gone ahead and added that all in, you're going to put this back in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Go ahead and make the topping. For this, we're going to be needing two cups of sour cream, a quarter cup of sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Let's go ahead and add the sugar, vanilla, and sour cream. Go ahead and get yourself a spatula to get it out of there. And you can use a beater if you want. Uh, it's only up to you, but I just use a wooden spoon. Not too hard to mix about. Who would have ever thought sour cream would be sweet? I didn't believe it. Alright, go ahead and mix it together. Fun fact is I actually don't even like sour cream. But yeah, it tastes so delicious on cheesecake. All right, now that you've gone and whipped it together with your wooden spoon, it should be nice and runny like that. We're gonna go ahead and wait for that to come out of the oven, then we're gonna add the topping. Alrighty, now we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven. Now that you have it at the oven, you're going to want to go ahead and let it cool 100% out on a cooling rack and then go ahead and put it in a refrigerator and let it cool and then have yourself a good time and enjoy it. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like my channel, and hit that notification button. Until next time, thanks for watching.